Thanks to Google, quality information is more accessible to people than ever before. Some have lamented this fact, thinking this means the end of reference librarianship as we know it. While as we know it may be true, it's certainly not the end of reference librarians. In this current information environment, reference librarians are more crucial than ever. I'm Charlotte Johnson with Delaware Libraries and the University of Maryland, and I'm here to tell you why reference is still relevant. Studies show that library use actually hasn't dropped over the years. In 2013, a survey showed 53% of Americans used their library in the past year, and the same amount used their library in 2007. Studies from the Institute for Museum and Library Services and the American Library Association also show increased usage. Visits to libraries increased 32.7% over 10 years from 2000 to 2010. One library system in Washington State thanks a recession in 2007 and 2008 for this uptick. Unemployed people used the library computers to find jobs, and we still see this service being provided today. These days, patrons are just as likely to go to the library for the tech and services as much as for their resources. Reference librarians straddle all three areas. Obviously, we provide a service to our patrons, answering questions about government documents, health information, or writing a cover letter. We connect patrons with the resources that can best answer their questions, and we utilize the new technology on the market to meet patrons where they are. Examples of librarians using new technology include virtual reference through text, chat, or email, comprehensive libguides, and mobile reference stations that let librarians get out from behind the desk and help patrons at their seats or in the stacks. It's important to remember that libraries serve the patrons' needs, and that just because the nature of their needs has changed since the 20th century doesn't mean the fundamental need for information has disappeared. A Pew Research survey shows that 73% of surveyed Americans would be somewhat or very likely to use virtual reference, so we can safely assume people want to use the library. What are patrons asking then when they use reference services? The majority of questions asked at libraries in Delaware during the fiscal year 17 fell under the 0, 100, 300, and 800 sections of Dewey, Delaware, that's generalities, social services, and literature. The Seeking Synchronicity study by OCLC found that the most common questions asked by patrons are ready reference and procedural questions. Brian Kenny in Publishers Weekly found that patrons these days want help doing things instead of just finding things. A lot of the questions we get are about using technology we offer or accessing social services or e-government. Both using and accessing are active verbs that suggest more than just curiosity. We're not just librarians, but educators. Can't a volunteer or paraprofessional just look up the answer? The answer is, well, technically yes, but a search engine or untrained staff won't be able to get to the root of what a patron is really asking. Patrons are asking questions they could easily look up on the internet. So how can we answer these questions quicker and better than what the patron can find on their own? We can start by making these ready reference answers easily accessible so patrons can approach us with more specific questions. We also know our patrons are mostly searching with surface level questions. With reference training, we know how to dig down past the surface and get to the root of the question. A librarian knows that when a patron asks, where are the books about business? to ask follow-up questions and figure out exactly what that patron is looking for. While the patron may be Googling health information, librarians are finding them specific information to their needs. No sifting through required. No one knows the library's collection like a reference librarian. No one knows the best databases to search or the best resources to enlist like a librarian. No one can evaluate the information they find like a librarian. Most importantly, we know how to educate our patrons so they can become self-sufficient. Reference is no longer looking for a book, but a collaboration to arrive at an answer or a result. How do we convince our patrons that they're going to get better answers from a librarian than by browsing the shelves or the internet by themselves? Reference librarians are currently in an exciting phase of experimentation. Some librarians are advocating for less formal separation of librarians and patrons, preferring to leave the reference desk behind. Libraries are embracing maker spaces and beta spaces, 
promoting active learning and participatory design, such as Beaufort County, South Carolina's Creation Station, the labs at the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh, and the makers in Loudoun Library's makerspace in Virginia. Other libraries, like at the University of Iowa, the University of Maryland, the Kalamazoo Public Library, and MIT are consolidating their reference and circulation desks into one central service point. Some libraries, especially academic libraries, are focusing more on creating a research commons more than a reference desk. Even the Delaware libraries are transforming reference librarianship with their inspiration spaces in Dover, Georgetown, and Wilmington. Here are some more examples of things we are doing. Librarians are making themselves more approachable. Don't let patrons worry that their question is stupid or embarrassing. Practice nonverbal cues that put the patron at ease. Look them in the eye and show them you're listening. You can sit or stand more casually during the reference interview, maintaining your expertise, but also acting as a colleague. As I mentioned earlier, we're embracing our roles as active educators. Our goal is information literacy and helping our patrons become proficient at finding out what they need to. Kenny tells us we're in the business of knowledge creation. We also want to enable patrons to evaluate sources for themselves using techniques like the crap test. Libraries are collecting data in order to get to know our communities better. Dewey, Delaware is a good example of data gathering. We take this data and incorporate it into our reference service. If we know what our patrons are asking, we can become experts in what they are asking. Librarians need to show up in more places than just the library, in spaces both physical and online. We can team up with other learning institutions like schools, museums, and social media just to become more familiar to the community. Librarians are here to connect patrons to information. Lack of access to the physical building shouldn't be a hindrance. Consider alternative forms of reference interviews such as meeting over video chat or email. Take shifts away from your office if you have one and be present at the high traffic access spots in your building or community. Encourage non-librarians to feel comfortable referring patrons to you or your email. After all, reference and virtual reference are the same thing these days. All that changes is the platform and the environment in which these questions are being answered. Reference librarianship is dedicated to the community and becoming part of it. Libraries have faced challenges of new technology before, but telephones and ebooks haven't harmed libraries. Quite the opposite, in fact. They've made libraries and the information they have inside more accessible, and isn't that the point of libraries? We have the means to collect data on our community and serve them to the utmost of our ability. The more involved we are with our communities, the more we make sure the patron is getting exactly what they need from their interactions with us. Thanks for watching.